So what is the legality of this committee? Can one nation, one election actually become a possibility and be implemented in reality? Let me get, get you a perspective from the former Solicitor General of India, a jurist voice mentioned in the committee, Harish Salve, speaking exclusively to India today. Let's listen into this interaction with my colleague Anisha Mathur. Thank you very much, Mr. Salve, for speaking to India today. Uh, if we can get some idea, sir, what exactly are the terms of reference of this committee? What are the issues that you're really going to be looking into, sir? Uh, right now, it's too early, uh, Anisha. We haven't uh, taken stock of uh, all the issues that arise. Fortunately, we are not uh, starting uh, from ground zero. There are law commissions, there are election commissions reports. Gee. We will have the advantage of uh, a lot of groundwork which has already gone in. Gee. And uh, broadly, the issues will be to... In, in, in two dimensions which are of relevance to us. The third, I would feel, doesn't concern us. The two dimensions are the exigencies and the efficiencies, cost and uh, administrative okay. of having coordinated elections versus the present situation in which we are in a constant state of elections. Okay. The second will be the uh, legal and constitutional angle as to whether there are any bars or impediments. I mean, as you all know, the only problem is caused really by midterm dissolutions and then the whole calendar goes all right. Gee. Because once you're out of sync, you're always out of sync. So can we have a shorter term elections? Can we have elections only for interregnums? Can we, or is it necessary to have elections every time for the full five years? Does it require constitutional amendments? Do the statutory amendments suffice? I mean, these are the kind of issues which will arise. And of course, there are, I start by saying there are strong views for and against. My okay. personal view has been for, and I have been public about it, vocal about it. But uh, if I'm on a committee like this, I remain open to be persuaded that uh, this should not be done. And we will obviously hear uh, points of view from all sides. So 